from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hey, I'm Sarah Finney. You could be dodging thunderstorms again today. Greg D's full forecast is on the ABC Action News app as well as on our website. Here are your ABC Action News headlines. The jury could reach a verdict today in the Derek Chauvin trial. The former Minneapolis police officer is charged in the death of George Floyd. That sparked weeks of protests all across the country last year. Minneapolis is pre preparing for protests when the jury reaches a verdict. There could be date demonstrations nationwide. Florida's governor signed a new anti-riot bill into law yesterday. The harsher new rules took effect immediately. It creates new criminal offenses and increases penalties for people who commit violence during a protest or march. Supporters say it's about cracking down on violent riots, whereas opponents call it unconstitutional and a way to undermine First Amendment freedoms by making it easier to arrest peaceful protesters. The law also allows people to sue local governments if their property is damaged during a riot and imposes tougher penalties on people who tear down historical monuments. The Tampa Greyhound track site will resume its administering first shots of the Pfizer vaccine today. That site was giving out one dose J&J &J Johnson & Johnson shots, but it stopped after the CDC began looking into reports of rare blood clots. You don't need an appointment to go to the Tampa Greyhound track site. It's open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The Firestone Grand Prix of St. Pete is this weekend. The St. Pete Downtown Partnership says there will be a free shuttle to the waterfront racetrack. Buses and trolleys will pick people up from the TROP. And the Downtown Loop will still be running like normal all over downtown. We've shared a map on abcactionnews.com. Racing returns to St. Pete's waterfront on Friday, and the Grand Prix itself is set for Sunday afternoon. Remember, local news is streaming 24 hours a day on our streaming news channel. You can find it on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Just search for ABC Action News.